Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Group Roller Skates. And today, obviously, I'm at Pigeons Roller Rink here in Long Beach, California today to talk to you about a heel toe spin, but more specifically, three aspects of it that you absolutely have to know, you have to master, and will help you develop your heel toe spin into something just amazing. Okay, skaters, today's video is brought to you by PigeonSkates.com. You can go online to PigeonSkates.com and get everything you need for skating. You can get skates, plates, wheels, bearings, laces, apparel, and everything on both sides and in between, okay? Use my promo code D-I-R-T-Y with a big old dollar sign to save yourself some bucks. All right, also, hey, this roller rink here is located in Long Beach, California, and if you happen to be in the area, maybe you're just visiting, come on down. They've got tons of classes, tons of sessions. You'll love it, and it's not that far from my rink, so you know, you can just do a whole little tour. You're gonna love it. All right, skaters, let's get into it and talk in detail about the three aspects you got to know about a heel-toe spin. You gotta figure out which direction you're gonna turn. Generally, if you are right-handed, you are gonna turn counterclockwise. If you're left-handed, you're gonna go clockwise. Don't know, I mean, you know if you're left or right-handed, but on skates, you don't know which way is better for you, have someone get behind you and yell your name. Which direction do you turn to acknowledge them? That's probably the direction that you're gonna wanna turn, which will be most natural, but that does not negate the absolute fact. If you wanna be a great skater, you gotta go both ways. Okay, I am going to spin as a left-handed person. This is gonna be perfect for all you right-handers out there watching, cause you're just gonna mirror image everything I do. Okay, let's get into it. Number one thing about a heel toe spin is when do we have the toe down? When do we have the heel down? When do we have a toe up? When do we have a heel up? You gotta know these things, right? I am going to spin this direction. I'm gonna put the corresponding arm out front. Other arm to the side, okay? I am going to drop my body weight and push it over onto the foot opposite the direction of travel. So if I'm gonna turn this way, I'm gonna rock my weight over here first. Okay, I got my arm out. Now, let's talk toe heel positioning. Think of it this way. Think I've gotta have my heel up on the foot that's leading and going to the back. So the lead foot has the toe down and the heel is up. Now, we're gonna push down on the toe to get the heel up, mm, mm, mm. we only need to push down a tiny bit, just a wee bit, my friends. You do not want to take this foot behind you with the heel off the ground this much. All you need to do is lightly push down over your front truck, over the front axle. That means your big toe and your all the other toes that go along with it are just pushing downward in order to get that heel lifted, okay? You're gonna push down, you're gonna pull back. As soon as you get about halfway around, you're gonna set that foot down and you're gonna pop this toe up on the follow foot and bring it around. So it's heel up, toe up, heel up, toe, heel, toe, heel and toe. Now, I'm just gonna go based on experience here. I've told people that a million times and you know what ends up happening? They're like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> they forget. They forget, is it heel up, is it down, is it toe up, is it toe? So now I just tell them, look, lead foot, toe down, follow foot, toe up. Toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up. It's a toe down, toe up, you know what I mean? You're gonna go this direction, put the corresponding arm out, do it like this, bend your knees, lean away from the direction of travel. Now, instead of having this arm straight in front of me, I'm gonna put it over here. Why? Because I want a little bit of movement going on in this upper body. And I'm thinking to myself, on my mind, Lordy, honey, I am not looking down. I'm looking ahead and I'm taking this, bending the knee and pushing down the toe, 
pushing it a little bit to the inside, a little bit of an inside edge, right? And I pull it to the back, set it down. The weight transfers, this toe goes up and connects. So it's toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down. It's a toe down, toe up. Look, if you just do it faster and faster and faster, you're gonna spin, you wanna go even faster, pull your arms in. Woo! Okay, <laughs> let's get... I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit dizzy. Just a little bit dizzy. Okay, so here's the next thing. Now you've established, yeah, yeah, I wanna go this direction, or I wanna go that direction, and I'm thinking lead foot, toe down, follow foot, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, but you're like dirty. I can only go one time around. Well, we gotta step on the gas a little bit and this is how we do it. I want you to take your lead foot and kind of dig in. Whenever I say dig in, I'm like, mm. put your body weight down and find that edge, okay? I'm, I'm already, you can always tell when I'm in a ready position because we get like this and then we get like that. <laughs> like we just get down, okay? You gotta get down. You're gonna be like this in this foot. I don't know if you can see, this heel's already coming up like a dog that wants to go on a run. Like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, like that, and I'm gonna push down, push down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. So when I say down, up, what I'm really meaning is as I push down with the lead foot, I come up a little bit with the follow foot. Push down with the lead, up with the follow, down with the lead, up with the follow. This is important. That you're pushing down with that lead foot and coming up just a little bit so that you can get that toe up on that follow foot and we can spin around on the back truck. This is super important, okay? So number one, we've established which direction we want to go. And we're all toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, da 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 Toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up. We've got all that, right? And now we know we've got to step on the gas a little bit. Just dig in a little bit, get those arms, pull them around. Weight transfer is down, and then it's up. Okay, next thing. You gotta have this, trust me. Your knees need to be chasing each other. Your knees need to be a magnet and steel, okay? When we're coming around, my knees, 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 do you see this? Knees, 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 knees. Lordy, these knees can't get away from each other. They need to be chasing each other and constantly connecting. That way your legs aren't out real wide. They're not traveling. They're not pulling you out of center. Focus, grasshoppers. You're gonna say to yourself, write them down. I've established, I know I'm going this direction, okay? The lead foot always travels back and the follow foot always chases. I'm against. I'm going that way. I'm leaning my body weight initially away from the direction of travel. Put my arms over here for a little bit of torque. Run, get ready, get ready, get ready. Toes down, right? Toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up. Knees, 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 knees. Extra added bonus, did you see? When I go to pull those knees in, what really establishes the weight balance on the toe and the heel, the toe for the lead foot, the heel for the follow foot, is these arms coming in. Honey, get those arms in. Every time I tell someone, pull your arms in, it generally is something like this. And I'm like, no, you gotta hug yourself, okay? Bring it in nice and tight. And with that, you tighten up your snacks and everything with it, okay? So. Again, going that way, we're gonna lean against it first, right? We're gonna pull around, toe heel, toe heel, or toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up. Ready? I'm gonna start pulling in knees, knees. Knees, 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 knees. Oh, did you see that? You know what else? This is more than three tips, but I'm just gonna give it to you. Did you see what else helped to absolutely sustain that spin. Did you see my head looking just slightly over the shoulder that's 
going the direction of the turn. I'm gonna do it again. I want you to see that I have my chin, boop, right over the shoulder so I can see right here and I'm holding it. This shoulder is slightly open so that the body knows this is where we're gonna go. When I wanna stop, I pull that shoulder in and bring my head to a more center position. Don't spot. Dancers, you don't need to do it in skating. You don't need to spot, okay, ready? And we're leaning, we pull around. Toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down. See this, see this, this is the kind of weight transfer thing going on. Right, I'm about to pull in, and I look, 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 look. There we go, skaters. All righty, before I give myself a seizure here, <laughs> spinning. I think I need to cut it right then and there. Okay, so, look, but let's just talk about practice. Now listen, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear it dirty. I did it, but I can only turn once. Lord, that is a spin. One revolution is a spin. Don't stress about that. Please understand that there's so many things that absolutely have to go correctly for you to spin multiple revolutions. So many things have to go right. Now, your brain, if operating properly, is already like, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> and that's when you just even put on your skates. Now you're trying to spin around and yeah, parts of your brain are like, no, 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 no. I don't think we need to, I don't think. And then you got crazy people who's like, I need, I need, we just have to do it. Listen, so much of this brain part, the emotions of skating and the mental has to just level out. You have to focus on the technique and you come around once and you're like, thank you. Then you're like, oh, I can go twice. Thank you very much, okay? And then we're moving more and more and more and more. Right there. Boom. Just make this your own fun journey, all right? But above all, we all know, you have got to practice, all right? So that's all I got for you today. Now, go practice.